everyone. This is the ocean. It is such a pretty and vibrant and colorful world. There are so much fauna that you would never ever imagine. And there's so much flora. It's so pretty. But the oceans are under threat. Most of our waste eventually lands up in the ocean. Look. This also affects the food web. Look. The shark eats the fish. The fish eats the turtle. The turtle eats all this garbage. It's supposed to eat the jellyfish, which it wants to eat, but it gets confused and thinks the plastic bags are its jellyfish. One, gel one turtle in the sea was found with over 1,000 plastic bags in its stomach, including part of a comb, a toy truck wheel, and even a nylon rope. In the ocean, there are some areas that are known as dead zones over here. No flora or fauna can live because the humans have damaged it all. Next, let's talk about coral bleaching. When climate change happens, then the algae can't survive and it gets removed from the coral. Then, the coral cannot survive because it is open to predators. Look how be beautiful these corals are. They are all covered with algae. But when coral bleaching happens, all the algae gets removed and all that lasts is this. Oh no! Can you see how sad the jellyfish has become? Another problem of the oceans is overfishing. Overfishing is when fishing is overdone. This destroys the food chain because the predators of the fish will also get less food and they can't survive because the fishes have also gotten less. At some places, coral takes so long to grow. But then, when humans' fishing nets go in, it destroys all the coral in that area. Imagine how poor the fishes are. The ocean is important to us in many different ways. It gives us oxygen, oil, transportation, regulates the climate and gives us food. It is the main source of protein. We breathe in oxygen and the seas give us 70% of the oxygen. Every 10 breaths you take, 7 of them come from the ocean. So if the ocean wasn't dead, then you would only be able to take 3 breaths, which would be really bad for your health also. SDG Sustainable Development Goal number 14 also says to conserve the oceans. In the oceans, less than 2% of the oceans are protected versus on land, 20 or more percent is protected. We must take actions to conserve the oceans. We must redu reduce, reduce our waste of plastic Reuse. We must reuse the things we have made and reuse plastic. So if we have a plastic bag, keep it for twice or thrice. And we must recycle and make old things into new things. 
and this is not just for plastic. It is for all other kinds of pollution. We are interdependent on the ocean. Try and use biodegradable plastics and also try and eat fish from sustainable places or don't eat fish. Bye and do take care of the oceans.